Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I'm going to be uh, giving you my June TBR kind of. Um, I thought I would mention a few extra books but mainly this is going to be mostly about the um, how to make your myth taker or build your, something like that. Anyway, it's a readathon where you build your own character and there's a lot of different ways that you can build your character and um, this is from a frolic, frolic Through Fiction I think it's, yeah A Frolic Through Fiction's uh, creation and I think she has a co-creator or host and I'll link all that stuff down below she explains it really well um, there's like four different uh, things that you can do like sorcerer, rogue, uh, warrior and royal or something like that I think and then there's four things within there and you can kind of mix and match to make your character if you want or you can just uh, be the one thing that there's four books that you have to read and um, I thought four books doesn't sound too hard I can do that so I've decided that I'm going to start out as a bandit and then I'm going to become a fairy and uh, didn't have anything cool to dress up with like a lot of people I've seen doing it. I have no pirate or fairy clothes. So <laughs> I'm just going to tell you what they are. Um, before I do that, uh, I forgot I'm going to mention because two of the books I'm going to use. But uh, I didn't show it on film maybe next time if I think that this is something that I'm going to want to do every month. But I have this little uh, TBR jar and I pulled three uh, things from it and two of the items I'm going to actually incorporate in the uh, readathon and that one is a feature um, a mythical creature and um, the other one was a book that was uh, given to me and then I will mention the other one which is a blue cover uh, later after the readathon because it's not in this but okay so to start off uh, being a bandit, I have to uh, steal a book, and believe me, this took forever because I'm kind of a picky reader, and it I had to go through a lot of TBRs for this challenge to find a book that actually sounded like something that I could do and that I would like not, you know, I would want to read, and this one I actually have um, thought about reading at one point in time so it's called uh, Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller and I have a friend who really really enjoyed this and so I'm really curious to see if I will like it too I don't have any clue what it's about except for a female pirate and that's really all I need to know I am going to listen to this and it's read by uh, Marissa Callen and so we'll see how this one goes. Hopefully I stole a good book. And then the next one on the pirate path is to read a book with a dark cover. And so this is going to be where uh, my one for a book given to me comes into play. Because uh, my friend Barb gave me this book. She really, really liked it. And so she passed it on to me. And it's On This, The Day of the Pig by Josh Mallerman. And I don't really know a whole lot about it except for it's about an evil pig named Pearl. And my friend absolutely loved Pearl. And so I'm really curious to see what happens. And it's not real thick, so it should be doable. Then the next one is where we switch off and you can each, uh, like there's like two characters that are, uh, I guess, connected. And so this is where I'm going to switch off and go to uh, being a, a fairy. And um, this one is Feature of Woodland. It's a book feature in Woodland. And um, I actually have a re review book that I need to read. And it is Oddmere, Oddmere number two, which is The Unready Queen by uh, William River. And this one is featured in the woods a lot and it's about uh, it's about twin boys who finds out in the first book and it's not really spoilery find out that one's a goblin one's a, 
a human, but they don't know which one is which, and they uh, eventually find out which one is which, but um, they go on these adventures in the woods, and they meet this young girl that's in the woods, and I believe her name was Fable, and uh, she is the daughter of the bear here, um, who is like the dark queen or something of the, it's been a while since I read that first one. And in this one, uh, they're just having kind of a continuation of things that are happening and the young girl kind of wants to interact a lot more with them, but she causes a little bit of trouble in the human world. And so I'm kind of curious to see what happens. And so we'll be reading that. And then the next one for Fairy was to read something outside my comfort zone, which not really a fan of doing a lot, but I am part of a part of a. So I'm not really a fan of doing uh, reading out of my comfort zone, but I have been trying to get into a little bit of sci-fi to see if maybe I'll like it because I always see uh, people reading it and it always sounds fun. But a lot of times with sci-fi, I'm better at uh, watching it than reading it. But I'm gonna give it a try. And I'm in a book club, and this is one of their picks for this month, and so I thought, well, might as well give it a try, and that is Aurora Rising by is it Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I have seen mixed reviews about this, so I'm a little uh, hesitant, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Uh, another uh, one of my friends really enjoyed this, so I'm going to hope that I enjoy it as much. I have read their other... I think they were the ones that did the Lumina, or however you say it, one, and I did read like two of those out of the trilogy, I need to get to the other one, and they were pretty good, so I'm hoping that this is going to be good too, and I have no clue what it's about, so I'm just going to give it a try, and this is going to be very outside of my comfort zone, so, so those are the uh, books that I'm going to be reading for the readathon, and then... I did have this other book from my TBR jar, and it was a blue cover. And the deal with my TBR is jar is I'm trying to read one book that I need to review, one book that's off of my shelf, and one book that's on my e-reader because I never read stuff that's on my e-reader. So this is the one I picked for it, and it's called Chasing Ghost by Glenn Wolf, and I've never read anything from this guy, but from like a review I saw, I believe this might be kind of like a cannibal book, I'm not really sure, I know it's kind of horror, and it, something about, there was this family in the woods, but um, they were supposed to have died off, and then there's a family that moves here, and then people start like disappearing one by one, <laughs> and so I'm kind of curious. Um, Hopefully I like it. It's got a pretty decent blue cover. I mean, as long as most of it was blue, I was counting it. So, we'll see. And also, while I'm here and I'm mentioning books I'm going to read this month, I might as well uh, mention that uh, me and my friend are going to butter read um, The Only Good Indian by uh, Stephen Graham Jones. She's already almost done with this. The last time she said something about it, she was about 60% in. Um, at first she wasn't sure if she was going to like it, but now she really likes it. But she's kind of worried that I might because it was a little slow. And I'm not big on slow books. And I don't know much about this except for something that a, I think a group of teens did or something comes back to haunt them when they're older. And it's a, um, about uh, Native Americans. And that's about all I know. So we'll see whenever I read it. The other... Uh, book that we're buddy reading is we're doing a series and it's uh, it's called the uh, Parasol Protectorate series by uh, Gail Carringer. We're going to be doing uh, Changeless but I didn't have Changeless so I was just going to show you Blameless. This is like the third one I believe. But they all got about pretty close to the same kind of cover and everything and this is about Alexia Terabati 
who is a petronatural and so she has the ability to make a supernatural person not be supernatural anymore when she touches them and so she's not really well liked and uh, she uh, has some adventures with uh, some mysteries to solve and things like that I do believe in I've read the first two and then I never finished the series and so we're gonna read the series and I think there is I remember in Changeless that there was something that uh, I'm not I don't like Lord Malcolm for Malcolm uh, but I can't remember if it was in this I think it is in this one and he makes me a little mad that's all I can really remember about it uh, so I just know it's a lot more about uh, Lord Macken and Alexia Terabody and the things that she gets into. There's a really flamboyant uh, vampire named uh, is it Lord I, could, I can't remember his, how you say his name. Anyway, he's kind of fun and it's just a fun series and I think that's it. I know I'll read some other books, but I really don't make a TBR because I never stick with it. So I was just kind of showing you some things that I know I have to try to read, so I'll probably get those done, hopefully. So there you have it. Everything that I will be reading, at least that I know I'm going to be reading for the month of June, and I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.